Hey YouTube, I'm here with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do the two cow print nails on myself and to be honest with you this is something that I did not think people would be interested in because I thought the cow print trend was a little bit outdated but I was wrong because this has been getting a lot of attention on my Instagram so if you want to see how I did the two cow print nails then please keep watching. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking my drill and I am drilling off that matte gray color. I did this set on my channel about a few days ago and I'm just taking my drill bit and making sure I just remove all of that gel polish. I did use a matte top coat for this so just make sure you're removing that so you can get ready for your next set. And then I'm going to be taking a Vanessa Nails pastel pink and some white also with some black for the spots. And this is going to be a matte set, so I'm using I'm also using Vanessa Nell's matte top coat. And I'm going to be just taking the pastel pink and I'm wiping off the brush because I don't need the brush for the two cow print nails. Because that's what I'm going to start with. I did the cow print nails first. I'm wiping off my brush and I'm just going to set it to the side. And I'm taking this brush, which is like a nail art brush that I got from Amazon and i am going to first start by taking the brush and drawing like a smile line this can be like as high as you want it or as low as you want it i kind of just guessed here i wasn't really sure where i wanted it to be but i just make sure i go over it a few times and i'm going to do the same thing to the middle finger and then i'm going to cure this and then once I cure it I'm going to take it back out of the light and then I want to do it again so just to make the make that pink line show up a little bit darker because up against the white it if you don't do two coats you might not be able to really see that pink line because it is a pastel color so make sure you are doing two coats and in between your coats just make sure you are curing it Okay, so now I'm taking that white polish and I'm cleaning the brush again and I'm setting it to the side and I'm going to be using my nail art brush to just create another smile line on top of that pink pastel smile line and this is just going to be like a guideline for me. Um, again, I'm only using that brush, using the nail art brush as a, um, just so I can get as close to that pink line as possible without messing it up and this brush is allowing me to do that so I'm going to be doing that to the middle finger as well and then I'm going to put it back in the light and then dry it for a little bit and do the same exact thing and then the rest of this nail will be painted with a white gel polish.
that we've used the line brush, you can now go ahead and take your white gel polish brush and paint the rest of the nail with the white. And you're just gonna make sure you get cover all of that nude so that you won't be able to see it. I think I did about three coats of this white polish because I really, really, really wanted it to be like a white for the cow print. I didn't want it to be see-through at all. Um, I also used my nail art brush again just to kind of get close to that pink line to make it darker. You might have to do that if you need to. And I always clean up the sides of my nails when I use a gel polish. I don't know why. It just I just think it kind of looks better. So that's what you're seeing me do is when I wipe the sides. I just always do that. So again, I'm taking this white polish and I've already dried it. I'm now doing the second coat. And like I said, I believe, I'm sure I did a third coat of this just because I wanted it to be like super, super white. And then once you dry that, you can get ready for the black spots. So once you finish with your white polish, you can close that up because you won't be needing that one anymore. I'm now taking an OPI black polish and this is a gel, of course. Um, I also want to say OPI polish is not the best in some cases, but I do think for a situation like this where I'm using it for spots, it works really well because you don't have to do two coats of it. Once you do your one coat, you're pretty much finished. So in cases like this, I think that OPI's polish is very useful. So I'm taking my daughter that I got from Amazon. I'll try to link it if I can find it for you. And I am using it to just create my spots. I've tried to do spots with a brush before and it did not work out well, I don't think. I just, I think that the daughter is like the key to like getting really good a really good cow print because all you do is basically just dip it in the black polish and you're gonna place it on the nail and just kind of move it like randomly because a cow print like their spots are random it's not like you don't have to be like perfect with it so that I think that this part was like really 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 easy so again as you can see here I'm just taking the daughter and I'm placing it on the nail just kind of move it in like random places and that is just how I create my cow print super super easy um, again I just used this daughter that I randomly bought a while ago from Amazon and I'm gonna cure this I do think that black gel polish takes a little while longer to dry so I cured this for at least two minutes and then I'm going in with the pastel pink that we used for the smile line and I'm going to be adding that to the rest of the nails.
So I did two coats of this polish. You can do three if you want. I think this polish is like very, very buildable. And I'm gonna cure that. And then I'm gonna take my Vanessa Nails Matte Top Coat and then I just add that to all of the nails. And that's it. I hope that you guys found this to be like very, very easy if you would like to recreate it. Um, again, it was like, I did this set super random just because I wanted to see how it would look on like my nails, like really long nails. Not even that these are really long, I just think that. I just wanted to see how it would look on me. So again, I did the set like super, super random. And I'm glad I recorded it for you guys because like I said, it's been getting a little bit more attention than I expected it to get on my Instagram. So thank you for watching and let me know what you guys think about this set.